Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupy Plays All the Games, this time with the GM48, helpful but harmful. The GM48 is a quarterly game jam. This was the 26th edition. Um, basically, game developers are challenged to use Game Maker to create a game in 48 hours that follows this theme. I'm playing all of the games that are under this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description so you can play them further. All my info will also be in the description so you can check me out on various social media platforms and if you like any of the content I make, consider supporting me on Patreon because that helps me focus more on game jams and more on smaller indie games. Alright, let's start. At the end I'll probably have an article of my favorites on BigBossBattle.com. Next. We're playing Faulty Upgrade. Alright, wave one. Sure. Do we have limited ammo? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Um, select a buff. That's just speed buff. Bombs. Something about bombs. Ah, so the enemies are sort of just giant bomb people. Right, we still haven't lost any health, so I guess speed again? I love how it says that we, we can also not accept a speed buff, like not accept any buffs. Why wouldn't you pick any buffs? Like surely you need buffs to like stay ahead of the game. Those ones that shoot are very hard to see. This will take more health. A buff was removed. Ooh, which buff? Where are you? Things that shoot. Yeah, look at it. Better gun. Why well, was another buff removed? I wish it told me what buff was removed. I like the graphics and the gameplay seems kind of fun. Ah, ah, that's two in a row. Next. We're playing bow. Ooh, look at our enemies are these like clouds. You died. Okay. Let's uh, go to the main menu and let's hit shift. Left mouse shoot and arrow. Right mouse is a power arrow. Powers can penetrate enemies and will not deal knockback arrows. Click power. Core is you're given a bow to slay the dust, but under the wooden sticks and string a lot of power each time you shoot, you get knocked back. Okay. So I think I, I might have hit a spike. Like those are spikes. I thought those were just like, boop, like barriers. There's a lot of enemies for this small area. Yeah, and you can't really move around them. I just feel like the knockback is far too large. Or there needs to be, like, these spiked areas need to be smaller. Darn it. Next. We're playing Gherkin's Revenge. Oh, it changed window. Like, it moved its window. Why did it do that? Nah. Oh, we're really like, okay. There you go, aliens. Please leave me alone. I like that my bullets can fight their bullets, but also they have a lot of bullets. Okay. I feel like I need to get up to higher ground. But how do I. Oh, right here. Oh, so you can't jump through these platforms. Well, it's this alien creature's like stealing things, stealing people, putting them into eggs. Do you need to die? Oh, oh, you're a bad thing. I thought maybe that it was like a, a human, much like myself, or I don't know, pickle person. Darn it. <laughs> Next, we're playing Jumpy Jump. Welcome to Jumpy Jump. Using your D, your left and right to move and space to jump. Great. Look at that cute fella down there. Walk into him to add him to your pets. Okay. Oh. Oh, you respond. Uh. Let's just skip this and continue. I guess I should have waited there. 
Why didn't you die? Ha, huh, it's almost like I wanted you to die there. No worries. I feel like these signs are not kind. This looks fun. Try jumping on this platform. Ah, uh, so these change when I jump, except that one. Third time's a charm, I guess. Yes. I'll make it quick. There's nothing there. Yes, I know. I don't want him anymore. This has taken too long already. Ah, oh, you again. I've got a new adventure. I like how weird these signs are. You will not get out of this alive. We've been holding players' hands for too long. This has to stop. Where are we? You're in a basement. You have to stop. No one has ever seen this. Oh no! <laughs> of course I'm lying. Someone's been in here. Weird. Next. We're playing Pitcher Mine Company. Build houses, businesses, and, le and lead mines. Press spacebar to toggle the build option. Left mouse to, cl uh, to click a build. Watch out for chat piles, leftovers for mining lead. The story is based on actual events. See if you lead company can make more money, or if you can keep town alive instead. In 1913, lead was found in Quapaw Tribe grazing land. 34% of children raised there will eventually develop neurological diseases. That's really sad. Alright, so zero money, zero population. I obviously need to toggle build mode, but hitting spacebar isn't doing anything. Left mouse button to build space for a top build. Wow. So it's not showing me what I can um basically put down. Hey, look at why is there so much negative money? Yeah, let's mine some stuff. So now we're getting some positive money. I guess next to mines and next to stuff. Made of houses. Yeah, high school, that's cool. I wish I knew what these different buildings were, like the ones that are just popping up and how I was gaining so much money. Next. We're playing Is This the Worst Game? So forward is uh, so up, left and right. Fire with space, shield with control. Got it. Should be fine. Uh, I'm not good at these, like, spacey games. Where you just have to go forward. Like, I can't stop going forward. I'm trying to get rid of the little rocks. I like the look of the asteroids. I think they look quite cool. The way they sort of change and their little dots on them change. Get this. Could have used our shields probably, but we didn't use them well. So, like this one. Oh, I wanted to get that, but I didn't get there fast enough. It's a simple game, but everything works. Let's grab this. What does this do? Oh, I think we got it in time. Next. We're playing Dwelve. Delve? Delve. We're playing Dwe Delve. Sorry. Alright, so here am I at. Here I am. So I'm doing something on the computer. Let me do this. What does this do? Uh, it takes up a lot of my heart, I guess. A lot of energy, learning. Do some water. Some coffee. Oh, so that makes us fast. That's for like a limited amount of time. I think we're good for water. Oxygen. Oxygen's important, probably. I wish I knew what each of these individual things did. But I feel like... Since my heart rate's so low, I should probably go to sleep. I'm taking that to mean like energy. Game over. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, heartless food in the kitchen. I didn't end up eating. That's my bad. I didn't realize that the description was a GIF, so I didn't realize that it was going to thumb through the different things that you could do. My bad. Next. We're playing Bombini. This looks adorable. It sounds pretty adorable as well. Oh, no. That's bad. Also bad. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we can't have the bomb touch a wall. Don't worry, I've got you. This is like my friendly baby bomb. If you treat it right, it treats you right. Oh. Oh no. It's okay, bomb. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I don't understand. What am I doing wrong here? Nope. That worked. Except I got scared. Ah. Yeah, let's do this. This hand out. Nope. This is really fun. But at the same time, I basically suck at wall jumping. Oh, but then you have to be careful because bomb. If we start jumping, can we have it like below us? I guess not. Oh, <laughs> next. We're playing the Night of the Prophecy. In the village, there was an ancient legend, so old that it had almost been forgotten, and no one cared anymore. This legend spoke of a strange wanderer who came to the village on a dark and stormy night, and his prophecy said, saying, There will come a full moon night in which the demons will return to devastate the world. The traveler gave the village chief a relic, saying this object is the only salvation, rec uh, recommending to keep it as if it were the most precious treasure. In addition to the relic, the wanderer delivered a sword, killing guardians, so powerful as it consumed even the life of those who used it, and a, sacra a sacred amulet, in case things get bad, were his words. Unfortunately, the prophecy was true. That night came, and the relic, the only hope for the world, was stolen by the demons. You, the best fighter in the village, have the difficult task of recovering it. The destiny of humanity is in your hands. How to play. So, kill enemies to gather HP and charge your talisman. Goblins are the guardians of the gate. They can be killed only with the sword. The sword co consumes HP. When the talisman is charged and all of the guardians will be killed, the gate to the next area will open. So, that should be like a last resort, but it's also the only... Okay, so I've kind of messed this up. Okay. Can I not double jump? I need to like not be so close to them, I guess. Cause yeah, that means nothing to you. I want to jump up there, but I don't have like a delicate kind of wall jump. No, it doesn't look like it. Graphics are wonderful. There's a lot of depth to the background and stuff. Oh, there we go. You're right here on the edge. Take that. Take you. Hmm. Next. We're playing harmful loot. Alright, so we've killed that. Oh, I should have jumped on it earlier. My bad. I didn't quite time that out right. Well, we've taken a lot of... Alright, so this gives us two damage, but it gives us more armor. I'm gonna pick yes. Despite us definitely needing to probably not kill anything else. Here we are killing stuff. Okay. Going for this heart, really. I mean, it's not really actually doing a whole lot of damage to us. Oh, does it mean I do two less damage? Yeah, that's what that means. I feel like I'm gonna level up in a minute, though, and I also feel like I'm not taking any damage anyway, so. I like the graphics, they're really nice. So I think I'm going up in like health. Okay. 
weird. Can't hear quite understand. Sure. Next. <laughs> 